Every week, many things are happening in MMORPG gaming world, so I have decided to bring to you every Sunday fresh news here on my YouTube channel. You will find out all you need to know about the new upcoming MMORPGs, new events, new updates and much more just within few minutes time. So let's not waste time, let's dive into video. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's start with Tower of Fantasy. I didn't talk about Tower of Fantasy for a while on my YouTube channel, or I didn't even play this game for a while now, but in the future you will also see some uh, gameplay during my live streams, because you can see here, Tower of Fantasy, lots of things are happening with this uh, new MMORPG, well, basically since release. You can see in front of you version 2.1, Confounding Labyrinth, uh, that happened already in the past, and uh, not so recently actually, not so long time ago, we have got this uh, new update. This is a new anime MMORPG, Tower of Fantasy, if you have never heard about it before, which you can play on PC and mobile devices. What I want to show you here on official Twitter account of Tower of Fantasy, many things are all the time happening with this game. And you can see we are getting a new simulacrum, Lyra. Very, very soon, Lyra sounds, uh, actually that name sounds pretty good. Uh, let's check the date. Where is it? I think it's December 22nd when we are getting a uh, new update 2.2. Uh, so developers and publisher of the game are taking good care about this game all the time. New updates. Okay, you can see here version 2.2 and date is December 22nd. That is actually just in a few days. So publisher of the game and developers of the game are taking good care about this uh, new MMORPG title. All the time they are implementing new events, uh, new updates, uh, new characters into, the, into this game. And I have to say, I have played this game a lot after release. A beautiful graphic design, I would say, and amazing combat are highlights of this game. Lots of content to play, PvP-wise, PvE-wise. And uh, in the future, not this evening, but probably uh, maybe even tomorrow, you will see during my live streams a gameplay of Tower of Fantasy. I want to return to this game because all the time, like I said, many things are happening with Tower of Fantasy. And I want to show you here on uh, Steam database, you can see here some information regarding number of players. You can see here 24 hour peak, three and a half thousand players, 3000 players right now. However, don't forget, huge majority of the players are playing this game throughout original game client, not throughout Steam. So this number here in front of you is actually not accurate. You can multiply this number at least with 10, minimum 10. Don't forget, not PC only, also mobile devices. So 35,000 players, maybe even more, that will be a realistic number. So Tower of Fantasy, don't forget about this free to play anime MMORPG on the end of 2022 and during 2023. Beautiful graphic design and amazing combat are highlights of this game and you will see in the future much more live streams from Tower of Fantasy. Let's go forward with Iron Classic European release. And previous week, boys and girls, it was a really exciting week regarding Iron Classic European release because we have finally get that live stream from Gameforge. And within that live stream, we have get many new interesting information regarding Iron Classic European release. And what we have heard, the most interesting information, well, basically we have heard that uh, uh, they are aiming regarding a release of the game uh, to be somewhere on the end of March, and that is, I would say, the only uh, disappointing information which I have heard. Other information which I have heard regarding in-game features, yes, we are getting update 2.0, however, special version of 2.0, which will have level cap 50, not 55, Ingison and Gelkmaros regions will not be accessible, also leveling will not be that easy, so we are getting special version of 2.0 for European release of the game, which will be something in between between 2.0 and 1.2. So Gameforge and NCSoft are trying uh, basically 
to satisfy everybody, which is not possible. You can never do that, right? That's not possible. There is, there will always be somebody who is uh, not pleased with uh, with uh, new updates, new information, whatever, right? Uh, however, uh, they are trying to find a middle ground here, right? I, I think they can manage to do that, right? So we have heard uh, that information. We are getting 2.0. However, it will not be that easy, casual patch note. And at the same time, it will be adjusted for players who wants to see 1.x update for release. Regarding other, other news, we have heard the information that name reservations probably will not be up. Also, PTS server or beta that will not exist before release of the game. Regarding seals energy, we have heard the information that uh, it will not be tradable. Uh, many players uh, are not so pleased with this. However, let's see in the future how that develops. However, Seals Energy will not be tradable, but it will be giftable. So you'll be able, to, probably, probably, you'll be able to send it as a gift to other players. Regarding other information, what we have heard during that live stream, check my YouTube video from like uh, maybe three, three days ago, actually two days ago. I can make dedicated video regarding that live stream from Gameforge. And within that video, you can hear all the information, all the news regarding Iron Classic European release. In the meanwhile, what to say? We need to wait uh, until end of March. And I can show you here, over there in Korea, all the times, all the time something interesting is happening. I'm here on official website of Ion in Korea. What do we have here? This is one uh, new event. And actually what I want to show you here is this. This is classic developer notes from uh, just a few days ago, from December 13. And they are talking about new update, which will happen on Iron Classic servers in Korea on December 21st. We are getting new stigmas, new stigmas for all classes. We are getting a new PV dungeon. We are getting new system, time recorder, Moros, and expansion, further expansion of Legion system. Again, Check dedicated video on my YouTube channel regarding all of these changes. But just, but just let me show you here. Look at this. New stigmas for every class of Iron Classic, including Executioner. New stigmas are looking very powerful. I will not turn this into a reading session right now. But um, things are happening over there in Korea with Iron Classic. And don't forget, all of these in-game features, new classes, new stigmas, new PV dungeon, all of that will be able to play one day in the future on Iron Classic servers in Europe because Gameforge have already given us information that new updates will come every now and then from Korea, right? So something to look forward to play in the future. And if I see any kind of news, whatever is happening with Iron Classic European release or with, uh, or with Iron Classic over there in Korea, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel or during my live streams. For now, what to say? We need to wait for March, end of March. Maybe, just maybe, Gameforge will uh, surprise us a little bit sooner with that release. But yeah, we don't have any other choice, right? So, boys and girls, hype is real. Uh, be patient a little bit more. And uh, what to say, right? Uh, in March, probably we'll be able to enjoy in this, uh, uh, let's say, a new old MMORPG. Let's go forward with Throne and Liberty. Throne and Liberty is a new upcoming MMORPG developed by NCSoft for PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox. Regarding previous week, uh, what happened new with Throne and Liberty, let me tell you right away, I don't want to waste your time, nothing new. I am following all the official sources regarding Throne and Liberty, I am following here official website of NCSoft, you can see here on news part of the website, there is basically nothing new. Uh, there are some news regarding other games. This is regarding uh, their shooter game, Project Triple uh, L. You can check dedicated video regarding this game on my YouTube channel already, because this is interesting. This uh, shooter, Triple L, is actually not a pure shooter. It's a combination of open world MMO game and shooter. Sounds really good, right? Anyway, regarding Throne and Liberty, basically there is nothing new. Also, I'm following here official Twitter account of NC Japan, you would say, come on, why NC Japan? Well, reason is simple. All the time they're tweeting something. Whatever new is happening, I don't know why, here on this uh, Twitter account specifically from NC Soft, uh, developers, actually community managers probably, they are very active. And you can see here lots of tweets, but nothing new regarding uh, 
crown and liberty so end of year is here we are right now in december and uh, as you probably know Throne and Liberty should be released in first half of 2023. Business model still unknown, publisher of this game still unknown. Unknown. There were some rumors regarding Amazon Games maybe uh, being publisher of this game for the West. However, that is not confirmed. Uh, maybe they're just negotiating with NC Soft, right? And uh, yeah, no news for now, but I hope that the good news uh, will come very soon because, uh, come on, like I said, end of the year is here if ncsoft wants to release this game during 2023 actually in the first half of 2023 then they need to move forward with some kind of news right with something concrete so let's see what will happen in the future if i see any kind of news regarding throne and liberty i will let you know about that instantly during my live streams and of course on my youtube channel so make sure to subscribe because uh, of course Currently, I have a uh, focus on Iron Classic European release, uh, which will happen in March. But this game here absolutely will be the main focus of my YouTube channel because uh, this beauty here will be the biggest MMORPG release of 2023. Let's go forward with Blue Protocol. This is new anime MMORPG, which is developed by Bandai Namco, developers from Japan. As you can see here in front of you, this is official Western website for this game coming 2023. Yes, in second half of 2023. Let me show you here. Where is it? Frequently asked questions. When will Blue Protocol be released? We have got that news about maybe 10 days ago. You can see here in second half of 2023. Another big news. Amazon Games will be publisher of this game. Uh, regarding regions, you can see here North and South America, Western Europe, Australia and New Zealand. This is good. I'm a little bit worried why it's written here Western Europe and uh, not whole Europe or just Europe. Just Europe would be normal. Where is Eastern Europe? Is that mean that Eastern Europe will not be officially supported? I hope that will not happen. Uh, regarding languages, English, French, German, Spanish and Brazilian Portuguese. And regarding platforms, beautiful to see. PC, Steam, PlayStation 5 and Xbox, no mobile devices. Boys and girls, when I see no mobile devices, when I see this, absolutely beautiful. So, Blue Protocol, new upcoming MMORPG, which will be released in second half of 2023 globally. Also, I need to just add to this that uh, here on official uh, website of this game over there in Japan, uh, Blue Protocol will be released in Japan before that. It will be released in Japan in early spring of 2023. And in January, we have actually <clears throat> start of next network test. Uh, check dedicated videos on my YouTube channel regarding how to apply for that network test uh, on my YouTube channel. I have made video about that maybe 10 days ago. And regarding what is currently happening with Blue Protocol. Also, I'm preparing for tomorrow or day after tomorrow a brand new video regarding Blue Protocol because we have got a new gameplay footage, a December a gameplay footage, a 10 minutes long. It's actually pretty interesting. I'm preparing uh, that... Uh, to analyze that footage with some information about the new classes. Actually, I should say not, not new classes, just uh, old classes of Blue Protocol, because we already know that Blue Protocol will have five classes for release. It should have five classes for release. And I'm preparing video for tomorrow or day after tomorrow on my YouTube channel regarding classes and that gameplay footage, which we have get just a few days ago, right? So Blue Protocol, something to look forward to play in the future in second half of 2023. Within previous week, uh, well, that news regarding Amazon Games Publisher, right? And regarding uh, other details, we have got about seven days ago. So this is still pretty fresh, right? If I see any kind of new development, something is happening with Blue Protocol, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel or during live streams. Also, don't forget, you can apply for beta test right now here on official website of Blue Protocol. Let's go forward with Lost Ark. In today's video, actually right now during a live stream, I need to mention Lost Ark because just recently, let me show you here, actually it's here, we have got a new class summoner. You can see here on December 14, we have got this new update. We have here a spotlight regarding different kind of features of this update. Summoner, obviously the biggest thing. This class, I mean, I know that many players were highly disappointed when Summoner was uh, replaced by Sorcerer 
for a release of the game, right? Because we should have seen the release of this class for release of the game here in the West, right? However, we have get Sorcerer instead, right? So Summoner, you can see here new Guardian Raid, tier three activity and progression updates. I mean, regarding activity of uh, publisher of this game, Amazon Games, and uh, developer of this game, Smilegate RPG, without any doubt, they're highly active regarding Western version of the game all the time. New updates, new classes, new events. If you like to play this kind of MMORPGs, free to play MMORPG, uh, let's say that uh, special isometric perspective of uh, Diablo, for example, uh, yeah, try to play Lost Ark if you didn't do that earlier, because now on the end of the year, look at this, new Nerius wardrobe, uh, new skins, uh, bed mount, look at this, snowball mount, so many things happening with this game uh, all the time here in the West and also over there in Korea. Regarding Korean version of the game, I didn't see any kind of new notification regarding incoming of new class a female berserker or something like that, I didn't notice. If I see any kind of news regarding Lost Stark, I will let you know about that during my weekly MMORPG gaming news videos or in some dedicated videos on my YouTube channel if uh, there is some big news regarding the release of new class in Korea that deserve absolutely dedicated video. Just to let you know from previous week, right, basically we have get uh, that new class summoner, a new update with lots of content. And regarding number of players, I can show you here on Steam database, 323,000 players. That is actually 24 hour peak. And right now in the evening of uh, December 17, when I am uh, here during live stream. So very high number of players, however, yeah, huge majority out of this number are probably bots. Uh, but come on, even if a Lost Ark have 100,000, 120,000 players, that would be, let's say, a logical uh, thing to expect. That's pretty decent number because this game was released in the West 10 months ago. So popularity of this game is still pretty high. Also, during my live streams, you will see some gameplay of Lost Ark. I didn't play it recently, but I still have account, many characters, right? And uh, yeah, I have played this game basically since release over there in Korea. So you will see some gameplay here during live streams. And now I need to talk about something very interesting. Uh, you know that in my YouTube channel have focus on new upcoming PC MMORPGs. And in front of you, you can see one game which will not be released on PC, not at least for now. You can see here Final Fantasy 16. Yes, release date June 22nd, 2023. However, for PlayStation. Yes, for PlayStation 5. So pre-orders are up and uh, today I have uh, put this uh, in this uh, video, actually during live stream, just to let you know, because of simple reason, because of this, Final Fantasy 14. Final Fantasy XIV, even today in 2022, right, end of 2022, is one of the, let's say, probably the most high quality MMORPG on gaming market, right, uh, which we currently have. So this game is something special. You can play, obviously, Final Fantasy XIV on your PC. Also, you have a free trial if you want to try to play this game. Uh, you will see uh, very soon, within the next few days, also some gameplay of Final Fantasy XIV uh, here during live streams. Uh, so check it out if you are interested in this game. But that's the reason why today I'm mentioning Final Fantasy 16. Uh, there is also a trailer. I will not uh, put the trailer up now because this is not a reaction kind of video. Uh, check it out here on official website of Square Enix. And uh, just to let you know, Final Fantasy 16 will be released on June 22nd, 2023, right? But sadly, for now, only for PlayStation 5. Maybe in the future PC version of the game. I didn't see anywhere official information regarding that, but uh, that would be interesting, right? Imagine Final Fantasy 16 on PC, or maybe not. Maybe Final Fantasy, some other number in the future, right, on PC. We'll see about that. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just within the last, uh, last uh, few minutes, you have heard everything what is happening in MMORPG uh, gaming world. Uh, probably most interesting news uh, was uh, everything what happened with Iron Classic European release uh, within previous week. During that live stream, we have heard many new interesting information and also that release uh, time frame, end of March. Uh, yeah, what to say, a little bit too far, but don't worry, that will come. Also regarding Throne and Liberty, uh, biggest MMORPG release of 2023. Sadly, nothing new currently, but I think that NCSoft very soon 
will surprise us with some interesting news. Also, things are starting to happen with Blue Protocol. Nobody was expecting this to see release of this game so soon because second half of 2023 actually sounds uh, pretty early considering that we didn't hear any kind of uh, new information regarding development of this game from Bandai Namco about one year. One year of silence. And now this. This is a surprise, right? A pleasant surprise. This will be something huge without any doubt. You'll see uh, within the next uh, 48 hours a new video dedicated to Blue Protocol. I'll talk about classes a little bit and you'll see some gameplay footage. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching my live stream, let's go forward with the stream. If you are watching this as a video on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content in the future. I am live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.